Houston knows a little something about traveling to the moon, but what about building on what it? What about that? NASA has just awarded a contract to a Texas company that plans to do just that. And as Janelle Bluto reports, it will evolve some out of this world 3D printing. The moon is nearly 240,000 miles away. For perspective in that distance, you could circle our planet nine times and still have 15,000 miles to go. So the task of getting to the moon has been incredible enough. But what about building on it? In the next phase of the Artemis program, after we've successfully landed humans on the surface of the moon, uh, the goal is to establish a sustained presence on the surface of the moon. Through a $57 million contract with NASA, ICON, a company out of Austin, is working to do just that, to put a broad spectrum of infrastructure to produce things like landing pads and roads and blast shields and shelters and, and habitats. On the moon, which isn't the easiest place to build. You need to be able to protect the astronauts from the lunar environment, which is really a, a, a nasty place to live and work. Vacuum environment, extreme temperature swings, radiation environment, micrometeoroids. Corky Clinton with NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center says ICON will now work to build a 3D printing robotic arm that will be sent to the moon to do the construction, but can be controlled from Earth. Can work day and night, day and night, day and night to continue to, uh, to build the infrastructure without the presence of astronauts. And there's a sample of some of ICON's work already at NASA. Last year, they 3D printed this, a 1,700 square foot simulated Martian habitat that's being used here on Earth as a training module for astronauts. Astronauts that will actually spend a year in that habitat like they're on the surface of Mars. Starting this summer, four astronauts will live and work inside that module for a year as a test run for future missions on Mars. In Houston, Janelle Bluda, KHOU 11 News.